If I were a rich man, yippy dippy 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 dum. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Welcome back to ingvid.com. Today we are doing the second conditional. It's my favourite conditional because it's the conditional we use when we're talking about possible but things that are dreams. The conditional for the dreamer. So, what are we going to talk about? This is a tense where it's kind of it's saying, if I had this, I would go and do this. We're going to run through the formula of how to use the tense. We're going to look at a popular song that uses this tense, and then we're going to start using it for ourselves. I hope that's clear. Let's get cracking. Now, I like playing cricket. I want a 200 pound cricket bat, but unfortunately, I only have 100 pounds. Hmm, that's where I use the F word. So, I write, if I had 200 pounds, I would buy the bat, okay? If I had 200 pounds, I would definitely buy the bat. No decision, I have already made my decision. But right now, I do not have 200 pounds. I'm saying if I did have it, if I had 200 pounds, this is what I would do. I would buy the bat. Another way of saying it would be a different meaning. If I had 200 pounds, I could buy the bat. So this way, buying the bat, it's, it's an option. It's something I could decide to do, but I haven't definitely committed to buying it. If I had 200 pounds, sure, I could buy the bat, but I'm not saying that I will buy it. Hmm? There's more power here in the could. So how does this tense work? What's the magic formula? If plus the past simple, your verb in the past simple, so here we had if I had, so that's a past simple tense of have, yeah, avoir in French, if I had, and then the conditional tense, and here we're looking at sort of could, would, should, um, plus your verb in the infinitive. So if I had 200 pounds, I should buy the bat, you know, it'd be rude not to really, wouldn't it? Or, I could buy the bat, but I might not to. Or, I would buy the bat, yeah? So would is kind of a little bit more desperate. Could's like, yeah, you know, maybe. And should's like, yes, that's the right thing to do. Okay, and then you've got your verb in the infinitive. I would buy, okay, so we've got the verb to buy the bat, but we don't need to. You don't need to, so it's just the, the form of the verb in the infinitive without to. If I had, I would. Now, you can flip this on its head and put it in a slightly different word order. You could have your conditional tense followed by if, followed by past simple. So here it would be, I could buy the bat if I had 200 pounds. Yeah, so you're just flipping it round. It works obviously with, with uh, could, would and should. I should buy the bat. No, it doesn't really work with should, that's crap. I would buy the bat if I had 200 pounds. Okay, so you can use it this way or this way. The choice is yours. If plus a condition pl gets the result. If past simple, I would. Okay? Now, I was singing a little bit earlier. If I were a rich man, yubby, dibby, 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 dibby. Dibby, dibby, dum. All day long, I'd biddy, biddy, bum. So this obviously is your verb in the infinitive. Have you been biddy, biddy, bumming today? Expect so. So if I were, here we have our past simple. Now, yes, the, normally you're used to your verb table saying, I was, he was, you know, we were, they were. But we use were as a slightly more polite it's a more formal conjugation of the verb, okay, in some instances. So you could say, if I were a rich man, and then blah, 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 ah, here, I would, da, 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 da. So here we have my second conditional, past simple, and then conditional here, okay? I would, I should, I could. Getting it, good stuff. And we have it again here. What is this writer playing at? Giving me two second conditionals in the space of a very short space. Okay. If I were a wealthy man, I would. Okay, another little bit of a conditional there. And then we've got the negative. Interesting. 
if I were this, I wouldn't have to. So we've still got the infinitive here. I would not have to, to work hard, okay? So you can also mix it around, use the negative as well. So if it's the negative, you're just gonna put, I could not, I would not, I should not. So you're just gonna have, so let me find a pen. Now, if it's would not, then you're gonna have two separate words. But if you're shortening it, then we're gonna take out this O, the N's gonna go and make friends with the D, and we're gonna put a little apostrophe in there. And that applies for should and could as well. So it would be, I wouldn't have to, I couldn't have to. Okay, ask me if you have any questions about that, I will help. Now, I want you to come up with three examples yourself. Could be with could, should, or would. I've done the first bit for you just because I'm so generous. If I were a millionaire, I would. Three things, okay? Remember, let's look at our rules. Verb in the infinitive, okay? So if I were a millionaire, I could, and I want a verb in the infinitive, or would, okay? Three examples, write them down, write them down. You can press pause if you like, pause. Don't forget to come back onto the video though, and then you're gonna have to press play again. Done it? Good, great. So, if you were a millionaire, obviously you'd pay me millions of pounds to teach you English every day, but if you're not quite a millionaire yet, you're going to pay attention right now. So, what if we had, if I had, I would buy. We've got if, past simple, conditional tense. I want you to go to ingvid.com, test your knowledge with my little quiz right now, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel if, if you want to do that. And if you want extra help, Exquisite English is the place to go. Now, I'm gonna go and dibby dibby dum. Bye.